When I first bought this fixer upper, I had so many plans for this fireplace. And I even did an in the meantime project to give it a little pizzazz. But now it's time to demo the fireplace and I wanted to show you guys the process of how I got it done. Here you can see I'm using my hammer drill and y'all, if you're doing renovations, this is definitely a tool that you need to have in your arsenal. I'm just carefully putting the hammer drill in the grout joint specifically to break up the mortar. Now, as you can see, it's coming up really easy. This is why having the right tool is so important because it just makes renovations just go by a lot faster. Now, typically with hearths, you have the brick that's mortared into place, but once you can kind of get the outside layer, the top layer off, the bricks on the inside are kind of just laid in there. So you can see I'm just working my way around the top and the corners just to get that top layer off. I will say it's a lot easier to kind of break up the bricks and then clean up your area, take it to the dumpster, so that way it just makes it easier and keeps your station a little clean. But the hammer drill is doing its job, y'all. I also have my crowbar handy just to kind of help me break up those bricks on the inside, um, but the only tools I'm really using here is the hammer drill and the crowbar. Next, it was time to handle the top, so my friend came over to help me you know, get this demo going. So we took down the TV, got that out of the way. Yes, I did not paint behind the TV, y'all, because this was an in the meantime project. But I used my trim puller to get the top uh, crown molding off. Now I did have to score it at the top to make sure that the sealant didn't take off the drywall. But once we popped that crown molding off, we easily were able to take the paneling off. Now we did not find great things behind the paneling. So I had to call my guy to come out next week to kind of treat you know what we're seeing uh but you know we're just continuing on with the reno to try to get this fireplace out so we're continuing with the paneling uh all we use was a hammer and a trim puller y'all i love my trim puller because it really helps me not uh dent my drywall when i'm taking trim off so go check that out if you're doing home renovations but we got the last piece of paneling down and then we were able to just easily, easily lift up the mantle. There was just one piece of wood that it was kind of sitting on. We took that piece of wood off. And once we took that wood off, we took off the fireplace cover and the bricks honestly just came straight off the wall. They were on the wall and they had these little clips that were holding it, but we were able to kind of just strong arm those bricks and they all came tumbling down, which I was super excited about because less work. Now, once the bricks were all down, I decided to just use my dolly and put a piece of drywall on it to help us carry the bricks outside. This saved us a lot of time, you know, just carrying the bricks from the dumpster to here. So if you have a dolly, I'd highly suggest getting the dolly, roll the bricks out, and then you can come put them on the dumpster. So once we got the bricks off the wall, we started working on the hearth again. My friend, you know, he's just breaking up that top layer and I'm just getting those bricks that are underneath, putting them on the dolly so we can take them to the dumpster. Honestly, uh, this video is sped up, but I mean, it took us two hours in total to get this whole thing done. So super easy project. Once that was done, we cleaned up. Uh, we put that trash can on the dolly because the bricks get heavy after a while. And we were able to demo this whole fireplace in two hours. And I'm so excited to show you what I have planned. 